Oh my god, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. I'll um I'll figure out something and go from there. Thank you. I got the horn. Oh my god. About a week ago, I saved the lives of three horses. In Australia at the moment, we have got horrendous drought. It is the worst drought that we have possibly ever had. People are selling their properties and have to stop their farms and are selling their horses. Because of this, there are hundreds upon hundreds of horses going to the slaughterhouse every single week. So many horses go to the knackers and end their lives before they were ready to end. Something inside of me was like, I have to do something. <laughs> I have found horses which are skinny or old or aren't the sort of horse that people want to buy. So I messaged him earlier who... Um, okay, so it's, I, wait, 84, 86. I think it's it okay to ring him now? Or... I got the horses! Oh my god! It was the most incredible thing, knowing that this horse who was so scared of everything had trusted me enough to let me touch her. Oh my God, she let me touch her. Hi, baby. Good girl. I did not think I would be at this stage for so long. And I managed to get a halter on her because I've seen her as a warrior and as a fighter and is beautiful princess who has gone through so much, I decided to call her Mulan. The first horse that we got is our big old stock horse, the General. Hi, handsome. <laughs> 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 you are so cute. And then we have our baby, Niger. Something that I have to remind myself and something that I think is really important to remember is that you can't save everyone. But for that one horse, for that one person, for that one dog, for that one whatever it is, you're saving their world.